in this tutorial we will see that how we can make applications using spring mvc so let's first understand how the spring mvc works the spring mvc is again a servlet centric architecture also known as mvc2 architecture so what happens basically is that whenever the request comes up there's a dispatcher servlet which fronts the request it takes the request and then it consults a handler mapping the handler mapping tells that based on the url pattern of the request which controller should be responsible to handle the request the request is then given to the controller which handles the request and returns back a model and view object this model and view object then is passed to a view resolver basically the view resolver is used to look into the physical view to resolve the physical view looking into this logical view that is written by the model and view object and then this physical view basically uh, takes this model object which is basically a data object and then generates the response which is again returned back via dispatcher servlet to the client so let's see if we have to make a spring mvc application what are the different pieces so most important piece here is that you have make a web application which is the standard web application structure you can see web content web inf and inside web xml you basically register a listener which is responsible for bringing the spring container up then this spring container basically reads the configuration files which are located at the location mentioned by the context config location also you register the dispatcher servlet and <coughs> based on this name of the dispatcher servlet you register another configuration xml which basically contains all your controllers and other things that are related to the front end the spring container that is created by this spring app servlet.xml is also known as web application context which basically becomes a child of the application context.xml the spring container made by using application context.xml which is also known as global context so here we have started the server and once we run this server we can see that we can see here that the form comes up in which we can give the name and then you save it then it redirects to the listing page and you can see this name that we have just entered we can come back again and if we remove this name and then again save it you see it throws a validation error and then we can go and change our locale let's say language we can add a language which is German move it up and then we submit the page again so now you see the application comes in the German language so this is a brief introduction of the spring MVC